This is the start of a short video I'll be publishing every week, letting you know of some really cool maker products from Kickstarter, Indiegogo, uh, what else is there? Adafruit, SparkFun, and any other vendor you can think of. I'll highlight some of the more interesting products and put the rest up on my website. My aim is to give you a heads up so you don't have to go searching. So first up, Paul Stoffrigan is back again with two new versions of the popular Teensy. The 3.5 version has 120MHz Cortex-M4 and the 3.6 version has 180MHz Cortex-M4. You can pick up the 3.5 for $23 and a 3.6 for $28. Apart from a few slight differences between the two, they both share a common set of features, such as 62 GPO ports, wow, DAX, PWM, USB, Ethernet, SD card slot, 6 UARTs, and RTC. This really has everything a maker needs and currently has a pledge to goal ratio of 22 to 1, of course. This campaign is a nice one for beginners. It's an Arduino compatible board that controls an LED strip in response to audio coming in on a TRRS jack. It contains a Spectrum Analyzer IC, so has more than just LED display applications. It has a pledge to goal ratio of 15 to 1. Now CNC and 3D printers on Kickstarter have always been dubious, but this creator has already produced several campaigns in the past. This is a desktop CNC mill that can operate with standard G-code and can work on a variety of materials. Pledge to goal ratio is currently 10 to 1. Now this is in the bucket list of one to be cautious of. M3D had serious issues with their first 3D printer Kickstarter, and they seem to be added again with an improved version. The original M3D was frankly a disaster but people seem to be soaking up the pro version with a pledge to goal ratio of 4 to 1. My money is on this one going the same way as the original version. Solar is an Arduino compatible board designed specifically for solar applications and has onboard RTC, Grove connectors and other options. Pledge to goal ratio is currently 3 to 1. Seems odd to kickstart a board full of buttons, but this one seems to be gaining popularity. It's just a board full of buttons but has a pledge to goal ratio of 3 to 1. The Hub Pi Wii is a nice little add-on board for the Pi Zero, providing Wi-Fi, BLE and 3 USB ports. At $14 US, it's a good price, but then again, you could always pick up a chip for cheaper. The ReSpeaker is a small device that connects to all the popular voice services. Microsoft Cognitive Service, Amazon Alexa Voice Service, Google Speech API, Wit AI and Howdify or you can run it offline with Pocket Sphinx. It runs the open WRT firmware and supports AirPlay and DLNA over Wi-Fi. They provide a Python SDK and is also Arduino compatible. It has multiple microphones and other features that improve voice reception. They also have a Grove extension board, allowing lots of cool add-ons. Now this is an odd one. Don't bother watching the video, as you'll have no idea what's going on due to poor audio quality. Basically, it's a Raspberry Pi case that converts any analog camera into a digital one. Some of the photos actually look quite good. Do you need synthesizer sounds? You can pick up the Arduino Audio Shield, which gives you retro gaming synth sounds. This is something for STEM students and has already reached its goal. The Wo board allows you to turn any electroluminescent material into a capacitive sensor. Really cool, and opens up a lot of great project ideas. But I'm over on my tech budget this month and really can't afford it. <sighs> now, I'm really regretting that expense budget. Do you want a modular robotics kit that can be arranged in various ways and programmed from your smartphone? This seems to be quite a polished product and would be great in STEM education, but it seems to be struggling to get backers. Now, this one is an interesting idea. Basically, this guy is using an inject printer to print out PCB tracks which you can then etch in an acid bath. It looks a little DIY and expensive, but the concept is great. The cool box is an open source wristwatch containing an ARM Cortex MCU, BLE, 6 DOF IMU, OLED display, SD card and audio in and out. They also provide an API so you can build iPhone or Android apps from the Arduino IDE. Nice! Although their altitude video looks a little set up to me. Moving on to Tindy, we have a tiny tracker module that contains a 10 DOF IMU, SD card slot, GPS and GSM all powered off a LiPo. A little expensive, but an all-in-one tracking module. 
Composino is a training board for CPLD applications. If you want to get into CPLD, then this looks cheap enough for that. It's essentially an Arduino Pro with extended GPIO provided by a Xilinx CPLD chip. This is a tiny little Cortex M4 and BLE module that provides 30 GPIO ports. It also has NFC, temperature sensor, digital microphone interface and other options. You'll need to supply 1.8 to 3.6 volts from somewhere to use it. It would have been nice to include LiPo battery management though. The Ultra is another Arduino clone, but it contains an onboard OLED, SD slot and FTDI. I'm always running out of serial ports. This nice little unit provides four of them, accessible from a standard micro USB port. If you're into power applications, then this will do the job, capable of dissipating up to 70 watts. Comes as a kit and requires a bit of assembly. So that's it for this week. If I've missed something out, then let me know in the comments below. Don't forget, links will be in the description below and also on my website. If you're not a subscriber, you can support me by subscribing. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like. So, see you next time.